birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to RimWorld. Since we are coming very, very close to the end of this series, I figure that today we'll try to take over as much of this as we can, because I do want to fight these. It'll be nice to actually get some rewards that we can sell, and hmm, I do want to trade. However, I'm not so sure if we're going to be able to make it all the way down here. So we might have to do something else. We did get this as well, so that'll be nice. Oh, mental break. That's not good. Poor Dave. I guess he was just not having a good time. So we could go up here and then maybe go fight these guys, but I think it's going to take way, way, way too long to do that. So this is a potential thing that we might be able to do, but it's not on our list just yet. All right, so Dave is broken right now. I do want Moose to actually go ahead and do some operations. So I'm going to, let's see. Are you actually that tired? Uh, a little bit. All right, so we're going to have to watch the medicine very, very carefully to make sure nobody but Moo grabs it because we need to install some peg legs on people so that way we can actually have, well, who's breaking? Zima as well. Oh, boy, what's going on over here? So we can actually have operations done on people who need legs. Wait, you? Why do you not have the best quality medical care? Oh, well, whatever. Zima, what's going on with you? You're not feeling okay because you're all scratched up and, oh, you're hungry, dude. Go, go, go and eat, man. Oh, man, whatever. He's sleeping, so I guess it's not going to change anything. All right, so Moo, as soon as I suppose you're well-rested. I think you're well-rested enough. All right, so let's go ahead and actually operate on somebody. Hey, wait, what were you doing? Were you feeding Zima? Uh, I have no idea what Steinthorson was doing there, but sure. All right, let's just uh, go ahead and operate on Zima immediately. That way we can actually feed him soon, and I will just forbid this medicine for now until Moo is ready to do another operation. I hope that she will actually feed Zima as well just because it's going to help her out with, you know, being a good doctor or anything like that. And Zima's going to be happy, too, because he's going to get food. And there we go. Ooh, okay, so we're good here. What is that? Dead raccoon. Sure, let's grab that. Why not? And, oh, Muffalo 3 is no longer incapable of walking you. You're a Jew. Oh, no, it was the baby Muffalo that got scratched up. Oh, or I guess <laughs> torn up, I should say. Well, that's sad. All right, so Zima has been operated on. Good. And hopefully that'll all go away pretty soon, so Zima should be in a better mood eventually. And exhaustion on Dave's part, but that's his own fault for breaking and basically not breaking out of that. It seems like the cats have been feasting on their own. Lovely. And Ty and Lynx are fighting. Great. That's exactly what we need right now. Well, on the bright side, we don't have medicine allowed for them, so they'll just uh, have to deal with their issues there. And Zima is no longer capable of walking. Nice, nice. Hopefully Zima can go take care of himself. Ty is... Are you, wait, are you bleeding? Your thumb got destroyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, that's great. So is anybody going to take care of you? There we go. Good. All right, so Moo, we're going to have to go ahead and operate on somebody different. Let's see. Is anybody on the bed? Nobody's on the bed. Well, let's go ahead and get Morgan over here. I know she's... Oh, she's feeding the muffalo. Fine. Fine, we'll leave it be for now, then. I really just want to get people with, uh... I'm gonna give them their legs. Oh, Agera, I believe, needs an operation. So let's go ahead, unblock that medicine, and get Moo operating on Agera. There we go. So yes, please give our chef a brand new leg, because that's about all that we have here. And hopefully these people will be walking very, very quickly, well, soon, because I believe it restores up to 80% movement, so that's better than 50% naturally. And while well, some of these people do need jaws, I'm not exactly sure who needs a jaw, though. Let's see, who's waiting? Lumi, 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 Lumi. Here. Lumi, do you need a jaw? You need an... Oh, just a leg. Was it a Gara that needed the jaw? Oh, it was a Gara who needed the jaw. Well, there you go. Now you can eat a little bit better, although right now it's uh, <laughs> not working because of the anesthetic. And it seems like Morgan is in bed. All right, Moo, where are you? Because we need to find Morgan. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. Gotta operate. There we go. Operate on Morgan, please, and we'll have just one person left to operate on, which is going to be good, because now we can save last two medicine for, well, whatever else we need. And there's Lumi. All right, so Lumi is ready for an operation as well, so as soon as Mu is done with Morgan, hopefully we'll be able to operate on Lynx. All right, there we go. And last operation, Mu. I know you want to get back to researching, but that's okay. This is important. Uh-oh. Coulson, no. Bad Coulson. Nobody told you to do that, Coulson. Seriously, look, what is his childhood trauma? Why does he want to keep operating him? I know that's one of his jobs, but he knows that Moo is the major doctor here. Coulson's just like a, an understudy, basically. He's just learning how to do things. Oh, uh, whatever. He is who's going to be in here. Apparently, he wants to be better than, well, 
just a learning doctor. Well, whatever. You know what? That's fine. And Dave is still working. Dave, please. Dave, stop breaking, go eat, and oh, never mind, he's eating now. Nice. All right, so hopefully Dave will find some happy times some, sometime here. I know this place is all bloody and everything like that, but hopefully we'll have people cleaning up soon. And we're being raided. Are you kidding me? A group of pirates from the suicide... <laughs> They'll be here for a while. Okay, this gives us some time. Let's see, heavy SMG, steel shift, snipper riffle, LMG, snipper riffle, repairing sandbags. That always helps us. Bo Ooh, frag grenades there. Not good. Well, they do have time. So, actually, we have time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab these guys as soon as possible. And since these guys are coming from the... Ooh. Do you have this here? Oh, that's not so good. We did not yet build defenses over here. Well, we're going to have to use this area to our best ability. So there we go. There's one. And we're going to grab the other two over here. And hopefully end up with something that, well, works well for us. So let's see, I want to put it maybe right there, and I think the blast radius from that exploding should be okay. Reinstall this one, I suppose, over on this side here. Same thing, that should be okay. And one last one over on, hmm. I always want to see there, but at the same time, that's probably not going to work out so well for us. So let's say right over here. So let's get people working on this. I know, Ty, you're so sleepy. You can work on that. Uh, you can work on the sleeping later on. So let's get some people on this. Colson, hey, look at that. You have a job. And one last person. Who has a nice leg? Let's see. Who did we give? Robin, do you construct? You do not construct. Hmm. There's somebody else with a nice leg. You. You also don't construct. My gosh. <laughs> I guess all the constructors do not have nice legs. So who available here let's see a teeny a teeny i guess since you have you're okay um i guess it's the last one left huh sure all right work on that one and hopefully we'll be able to get these up before anything else happens and there goes squint all by themselves where exactly are you going squint are you trying to go through our base just to get to the sandbags why are the cows Cows, what are you doing? Okay, you're eating grass. Well, be careful, cows. All right, so Squint is separated from the group. If we try to kill Squint, then this might work. So, Robin, and let's see. Dave, what do you have? You have, ooh, EMP grenades. That's not going to work out for us. Colin, we can definitely use you. Zima, you're a stabby stab guy. I don't think that's going to work out well for us. Lumi, what do you have? You have a sniper rifle, but you also have anesthetics. So that's not going to work out well for us. Lynx, you can walk pretty fast right now. And Morgan, I guess you're a faster walker now than we were before. So, hopefully, it's going to help us out here. All right, so we're going to have to try to snipe squint just so we can uh, have constant flow of people going this way. So, Robin, I think you're going to be good right up there because squint is going to be coming through here. There we go. And hopefully squint will actually start shooting at us because that's a sniper rifle right there. Oh, boy. So, um, what's your range? I think we can back up just a little bit more just so we won't get shot. Oh, she's definitely coming up this way just because it looks like the sandbags are over here. Aha. Robin, can you still shoot from there? You can. All right, Robin, take that cover there, and we'll have other people coming with you soon. All right, Morgan, I'm going to need you over here a little bit more. Lynx especially, since Lynx has a special leg, huh? Lynx, I'm going to need you over here, and there was one more person. Colin, what? what's wrong with Colin? Oh, come on, you can move. I don't know, <laughs> maybe Colin's tired or something like that, but look at that. We are, uh... Robin, move. Robin, move. Robin, move. Oh, Morgan got shot. Ow, oh, the arm is gone. Wow. Oh, I mean, she was missing a finger, and I was eventually going to replace it, or she was missing a hand or something. So that was going to get replaced, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Robin, keep taking those shots, because we're going to need that happening here. Poor Morgan. I mean, she just got repaired, like, partially there, and now she's getting all shot up. Ooh, just missed. All right, Colin, right over here. Start taking those shots, you guys, because Squint needs to die. And let's see. Have we gotten anything gone of... Nope, not yet. We're still working on that. What's happening down here? It looks like there's a dead rat and a dead bunny. Why are there so many dead animals over here? Oh my gosh. All right, kids, can you guys please? Link, somebody. Okay, Robin's out of the range, so we're going to have to move Robin a little bit closer. So let's move Robin maybe here. And Colin can definitely see that, though, so that works for us. All right, so hopefully somebody can actually kill Squint. There we go. Okay, Squint's dead. I'm tempted to actually say somebody go grab the gun, but Morgan needs to get treated right now because that's not going to end well for her. So, let's just keep people over here, because, uh, well, everybody but Morgan basically needs treatment. Or, uh, Morgan! <laughs> uh, Morgan is the only one who needs treatment. That's what I meant. Jeez. All right, there we go. So, who's the next uh, volunteer to go fix the sandbags, huh? Because that's what we need right now. And how are these guys doing? Ty is very, very slow. Are you tired, man? Is that what it is? Or are you just taking in a ridiculous amount of time just to get here? All right, there we go. So, all of that is ready. I guess you guys can go, since nobody else seems to be going after the sandbags. And if we see somebody... Going for the sandbags, then we'll just, uh, well, bring them up. And let's see, Morgan, where are you, buddy? Tending to yourself. 
With that medicine? I don't think so. Okay, go and tend to yourself. There we go. Good, good, good. And I am so sorry that you lost your arm. All right, so let's go ahead and get, grab everybody but Morgan. Everybody but Morgan just because Morgan's injured. All right, so let's start uh, lining people up. Let's put Zima right up in here because he has a stabby stab. And we're going to put people with the longer range, I suppose. Maybe further away. Hmm. Can have somebody here. So Singer over... Wait, is your uh, shooting skill good? No. Why do you have that gun when your shooting skill is absolutely terrible? All right, Itini, you're actually ridiculously close, but we can't put you there because that's going to be dangerous. So let's go put you over here. Singer, I suppose we can put you somewhere in the back here. I don't know if it's going to work out. Well, mm. Let's put you here just in case. Who is a good shot who has a good gun? Colin? No, not Colin. Somebody, oh my gosh, where are my good shooters? You're okay, you're definitely getting better. There we go, Lynx. That's kind of long range. Okay, that might work. Um, yeah, it's gonna be Lynx then. Lynx, come over here. And Allie, let's see, you do have a sniper rifle, so go over here. We're gonna need one more person with a sniper rifle. Ooh, do we need EM any EMP grenaders? I'm gonna say no. So, what we're gonna do with these guys is grab our miniguns and go crazy. <laughs> Where's the other one? Um, or we could just make him stabby stabby because I don't know where the other minigun is. Oh, it's right here. Um, sure. Go ahead and grab that, Dave, and hopefully you'll help us out. All right, Colin, you have another sniper rifle, so that's definitely going to be good. These two are grabbing their own guns. Lumi, come here. You do have another sniper rifle, so that's also going to help. Oh, another sniper rifle. Nice. We have quite a few of these, so maybe I was thinking that we didn't, but we totally do. We do have to watch out, though, for the, um, the people with the... Uh, the frag grenades because that's gonna be super super dangerous so let's go ahead and grab everybody that we can as soon as possible oh no somebody's already there ty come over here can we fit you there there we go all right everybody hurry up we're gonna have these uh well these uh turrets actually do most of the work for now dave is about to grab his gun so that's good uh, he's right there and let's see the other person who needs a gun is a gear all right dave come over here you are going to be front and center because we need you firing like crazy a same thing Hurry up, buddy. All right, there we go. So we're going to need you firing like crazy right there if you can. Oh, boy. So this is going to be interesting. A teeny. Let's see. You have the LMG go up over there, and that should help us. All right, so they're trying to destroy our homes and our cows. This is okay because, I mean, I, I don't really care about the cows too much. All right, so just as long as it can maybe... Oh, Penelope and Robin just got shot by the same thing, right? Oh, no. Bolt auction rifle. I see. So, uh, these are doing their jobs, right? It looks like, yes, it's gonna get to Lang and Bouchard, and Z Zima, oh, there, well, there goes Zima, alright, Zima, I think I need you right here, because that's where they're firing into, and Penelope's just gotten shot twice already, so there we go, nice, and, hmm, I think we're missing some people, oh, Mu how did you just get shot, Moo? Like, you were in a good position to take cover from all these people, but no, somehow it still got you, my gosh. All right, so we're gonna have to start letting people off as soon as possible, just so they can go get taken care of, because this is, uh... We don't want too many injuries. Bouchard definitely has a good spot for uh, hiding. It seems like we already took down Lang, though, so that helps. And do these reach Soda somewhat? All right, Zima, we're going to need you to protect a little bit better here because clearly... Morgan, you're healed. Hey, Morgan's healed, you guys. All right, Morgan, go over here so you can actually get shot again. There we go, Dave. Ouch, Moo. Oh, man, Moo. Not good. Okay, we need somebody like Compost maybe protecting over here because it seems like Compost isn't really doing much at all anyway. There we go. And Dave is firing like crazy, which is lovely. And it seems like we have people coming over here because they knocked down one of the cows. Nice. Well, the cow's about to die. Ooh, can't see anymore, can it? That sucks. And it seems like uh, <laughs> these guys are actually chasing after this cow, which is absolutely lovely. But whatever. We can get them later on. They're not our biggest issue right now. Let's just try to get these guys and try not to die. Ouch, Dave. They just shot off your arm. Yeah, okay. They deserve death, like, big time. Dave, you are about to... I'm about to let you go just because you're having a very rough day right now. Morgan, hurry up. You can take a lot of these shots. Robin. Be okay. You are okay. Although, uh, another rib of yours has been messed up. Alright, so we just killed two people. Lovely. Now Soda is the only one who needs to die. It seems like we can't exactly reach them, though, because... What the heck? I guess we, uh, they wrecked Panther. Nice. Well, this is what happens when you have cows. The cows can actually lead the, uh, <laughs> the enemies to killing one another. That works for me, though. Alright, so let's try to get Soda now that we have really good guns just focusing on them. And that means that the other people who are injured should be okay, because it looks like they're definitely focusing on our, um, our turret, so that works for me. There we go. Soda's dead. Satsuki. Can anybody actually... Mm. 
So we only have a few people on Satsuki. We need to move you guys. We need to move all of you guys with the sniper rifles. That way we can actually murder this person a little bit faster. So let's see. Let's just put everybody behind other people, huh? Go here. You go over here. Let's see. Anybody else? Ty. Ty, you don't have a spot. Go uh, right there. Sure. And hopefully we can get these people. Oh, Lumi, you don't have a spot. And fi fire. They're setting fire to our... Uh-oh. Well, this is going to be a bloodbath, isn't it? Um, we need to actually line people up in a different way, it seems. All right, so Moo, let's put you over here. Actually, let's put you right there. Ty here. You, let's see, you have a sniper rifle? Nope, never mind, not you. We're going to leave all the sniper riflers, riflers alone. That way they can take care of what they need to. You come over here, and you are okay to go over here. All right, so sniper riflers, take care of that last person there. Everybody else is going to take care of the issues over here, which means Zima, you're coming over here as well, so you can maybe do some stabby stabby because that's going to be really nice. And Morgan over here, maybe? I don't know. I'm just, like, trying to sort them all out. Singer, you can stay there. Agara, we're going to need you over here. And Stein Thorson, I suppose, over here somewhere. A teeny same thing. Find a spot. There we go. All right. So hopefully, ooh, both good. Really? Right now? All right. Well, whatever. We are uh, trying to get Satsuki. Wait, you have an assault? How are you shooting from this far away? I don't know. And th they have decided to steal what they can and then leave. I don't think so. Oh, we are going after them right now. Keep uh, chasing them. We'll uh, actually go after these guys. Run, 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 run. Do we have anybody with good legs here? Oh, did we kill that person? We killed it. Wait, they're leaving. Stealing sniper rifle. You just took your own sniper rifle? Really? That, this is dumb. <laughs> That's absolutely dumb. Can we actually catch these guys? Because, like, one of them, two of them are actually injured. So maybe we can. Where's Lynx? Lynx should be in there, right? Hmm. Interesting. Well, whatever. Let's see if we can maybe try to shoot this person. I think this person's gone, right? Yeah, never mind. All right, you guys go, and hopefully we'll be able to reach these guys somehow. Ooh. Actually, hold on. Let's just get these two. What are you guys shooting? Oh my gosh, there's somebody else here. <laughs> I was like, what are they shooting? Uh, Singer, sure, you can stay hi hidden behind those trees. Lumi over here. Ali, I suppose, over here. And uh, Kalun, maybe over here. Just do not get shot right now. We need to get to, uh, apparently, oh, that's where Lynx was. I was like, where the heck is Lynx? Lynx is still trying to deal with the people over here. Fair enough. I really don't think we're going to reach anybody. All right, Robin, Moo, go take care of yourselves, and Penelope, Lumi. Wait, did we just? Uh, nope, Lumi and Penelope still are needed. God dang it. All right, Moo, go get treated. Robin, same thing. Everybody else, please come with me, because we're going to try. We're going to try desperately to save our cows and to save our stuff, because they're stealing our Plasteel, which I really, really wanted. This is not okay. Hey, Shoe Panther, there we go. Shoe Panther. I guess we can maybe try to catch him in this little thing here. If possible. Panther, shoot him down, stab him, stab him, do whatever you need to. There we go. All right, so he's dead. We saved a little bit of our Plasteel, and now they're fleeing. Can you guys drop your Plasteel? Nope, apparently not. Uh, well, we tried, and then he has a weapon there. That's all right. All right, so how are we doing over here? Lynx, are you okay? Did we kill anybody else? It looks like we did. Nice job, guys. And Lynx, uh, well, you tried, Lynx. You, oh, wait, we didn't kill anybody. They're just running away. Lynx, chase. Chase, you're, you're definitely much faster than most people, so please do chase. And maybe you could try to shoot them down both. Oh, that would be extra delicious. All right, so let's try that. Go ahead and shoot Lily if you can. Nice, okay, keep shooting. And maybe we can go for Thessa next. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that because Lynx is a little bit further away. So please come over here and shoot Thessa first since that person is going to leave first. All right, there we go. Shoot Thessa now. Please get him. Nice, okay, there's one down. Can we actually get Lily? Because Lily's, oh, Lily's about to peace out. Hold on, let's go up here. And shoot Lily. There we go. Who can we do this? How are you missing? Come on, seriously. This is not for you to be missing. You can do this. You're a much better shot than that. Of course not. Of course that's not going to happen. There. Oh, you killed her. Okay, well, <laughs> that works. And do we have a new prisoner or do we have just another body? Let's see. Uh, could be good. Could be closed, but is abrasive, which is always a problem. However, I'm very confused as to why Thessa was given... Oh, you don't have a light. That's okay. I'm confused why Thessa was given a, uh, <laughs> a sniper rifle. Or Inessa. Oh my gosh. Inessa, not Thessa. Uh, oh, there's what? Aha. Alright. To, uh, let's just go for one of these guys here, and that should be fine. All right, now we can get Inessa, apparently. Not Thessa. I don't know how it looks like Thessa. Whatever. Well, now we have meds. Hey, let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> unforbid all of these corpses here so that we can actually strip them all and grab whatever they have on them. Same thing over here. Oh, we're taking care of all the cows. Nice. 
Well, we lost nobody, surprisingly, I guess, since uh, I'm kind of used to losing people. You're turning to Cal 1. And do we have Colson over there? Who's another doctor? Repairing cooler. How's about instead you tend to Inessa and you can repair the cooler later on? Because that's not really that important. This person, however, is because this person can help us fight and... Oh, jeez, it's never going to join us. Never mind, we're going to have just another mouth to feed. Lovely. So I'm currently working on trading with a bulk trader, and they have some chickens and some pigs. So I'm thinking I want to maybe start a little bit of a farm since I am going to continue this save file on my own and just play it out and see what happens. And our bull is currently worth 10 bucks. How bad is this? Oh, it's going to heal up quite nicely, although the poor... Oh, man. The poor cow is uh, not going to look so good at all since she's blind in both eyes so that's gonna be interesting especially since i don't think she's showing up in here is she let's see i am gonna sell off the cats because they're basically pointless and i'm pretty sure that at some point they're gonna start starving oh you're pregnant hmm yeah i don't want any more kittens that's okay we uh really can't do much with them these guys though will be able to grow big and fat and eat them and alistair is well it's gonna help us out with well he's gonna help us out even though he's missing some pieces with hauling same thing with the labs even though they might get eaten by something else they're gonna help us out with hauling as well I'm going to sell a little muffalo that actually ended up getting, you know, messed up because she's never going to really move too much. Or, and it's just not going to be a good thing. I mean, we can get some camels, but these are pretty old. And we're already losing some money. And I really can't sell them much else. It seems like, um... Well, I am selling them a bunch of furs. I suppose we can probably go ahead and sell them some other things. Like, we have a ton of muffalo leather. So we don't really need to save, like, all this mega sloth the leather and whatnot. Let's see. What else can we sell them? I want to sell them maybe the pigskin and the ostrich leather. Sure, we can do that. Maybe even the turkey leather so we can maybe start making a little bit of money. There we go. Some goat hide as well. Elephant skin, definitely. I guess I'll keep the deer hide just because we get a lot of deer. Cow skin, I'm going to sell that because it feels very, very cruel to have that. Boomalope leather, sure. And beaver skin. There we go. So we're making quite a bit of money by finally selling this stuff. And maybe even the alpaca hide. Sure. We're going to keep the wool and the leather just because we're always murderizing some buffalo. And we can make some money. Wow, we're going to make quite a lot of money from this. Good. Good. All right. So we are buying some more animals as well. So that means it's probably a good time to what? They don't have what? Oh, you know what? It's close enough. Sure. It, they almost have that money. All right. So there we go. Let's see. We are going to try to make a little bit of a pen somewhere because, of course... The animals are going to need it. Um, hmm. Where can we make a pen that's not going to be very disturbed and that's going to have plenty of grass? Maybe somewhere over here, because I do see plenty of grass here. And I will eventually, you know, grow hay and whatnot, but maybe we can grow hay some... Yeah! Let's grow some hay grass over here instead of potatoes, because apparently somebody keeps eating the potatoes, and that's not good. So I think we could probably go ahead and make our little temporary pen somewhere over here. So let's see. We're going to build this thing, obviously, out of this. And we're going to need to make it out of, let's see, something like this. Just enclose this whole thing in and then extend it out to maybe here, sure. And we're going to close in this whole thing so the animals can't get to it until we let them. Because, I mean, it's probably going to be easier if we just harvest this, right? But whatever. So our little pig pen and chicken pen and whatever else we need it to be is going to be right there. And do we have enough plasteel now for doors? Because clearly... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save that. Clearly, our uh, plasteel supplies were depleted big time because of certain issues. And we have a double wall there. Hmm. I guess that's fine. Alright, so let's do something like this. And we're going to just uh, enter this area here for the cows and the pig. It was not supposed to be like that, so let me just uh, redo this one here. Excuse me. Oh, I have to cancel this. There we go. Alright, so this is gonna be for the pigs and whatnot. So now we have to make a brand new area. Oh, we have what? We have a bunch of animal areas and only one of them is being used. Lovely. All right, so let's just uh, start deleting some of these since clearly we're not going to use them. I'm, I guess we're going to put them in the not mufalos area. <laughs> Where is the not mufalos area currently? Let's see. Not mufalos. Right here. Hmm. Okay, now we, we're just going to get rid of all this right here and just make a brand new not mufalos area over here. It's going to be very, very tiny, but you know what? It's going to suffice for our chickens and our pigs. And we're going to have to maybe let them out for a little bit just so we can get some more grass because that's not really much. So to help us out with that, so, you know, with letting them out, let's go ahead and do something like this and like that. There we go. So animals, we're going to need to put the hens in here. I'm going to put the rooster separately, though, just because he's going to get all the hens pregnant. Well, not really all the hens pregnant, but he's going to... Pigs haul? Hold on. Hold, hold the phone. Pigs can haul... 
Okay, that changes everything. We're gonna let these guys out, then apparently they are massive animals that can do crazy stuff. Alright, and the poor rooster, let's see, we have to give him a room all to himself just so that he won't fertilize those eggs. We're going to put the poor little rooster, I suppose we can make like a little bit of an offshoot here for him, and that way he can uh, just chill next to the ladies, and then when we're ready for the eggs to be fertilized, we can just let him in, right? So that'll work. All right, so this is going to be the not mufalos area there, and we're going to make the not, let's see, new animal area. There we go. Rename this to the not hens area, basically. So not, not, not hens. All right, there we go. Not hens. Nice. So this poor guy, he's going to be all by his lonesome. That's okay. So not hens area for this little guy, and we're going to drop him right in here so he should be separated by just a single wall from his ladies all right so hopefully those animals are going to find their ways over there there they are and hopefully we can build this up a lot faster than anything else because we need to i'm going to just actually forbid all of this for now so they can actually work on this right now because we need to save these animals as best as we can otherwise they might get eaten by some crazy fox or timber wolf and that's not going to be okay because we bought them for a reason we bought them so we can have a nice food supply hey raccoon get out of there uh oh Oh no, the bull is sick. I mean, he didn't lose any pieces though, not like this. But it seems like he's injured. Moo, I know you're you're not uh, well right now, but please tend to the bull right now before he dies. I don't want him dying. Oh boy, it happens, you guys. It happens, and that's just one of those things. All right, so it looks like nobody's actually. We need to get the muffles out of here because they're straight up just eating everything. All right, so clear allowed areas. The Mufalos area. We're going to disallow you guys from here and here because I might put the, gra the grass in there. That's not going to help out at all. All right. So hopefully it's going to help us out. And, well, the poor Mufalos are going to be there for a while, it seems. And as soon as anybody wakes up, we're just going to have them building on this. And, wow, we haven't dragged anything to, to our stockpiles. I guess we're very busy with other things. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I see Lumi and Teeny out there. I'm going to make sure that we give them a bed here. I'm pretty sure they are a married couple as well, so they can share this bed. There we go. Wake up, kids. You don't deserve to be sleeping outside. That is for whoever else joins us. There we go. And maybe the Mubblow are actually protecting our hens, which is actually a nice thought. So hopefully they won't die overnight, because that would kind of suck. We have a new recruit. Beamer has finally decided to join us, so it seems like we no longer need this here. Let's deconstruct that, and we do have another bulk goods trader, so let's grab Colin and see what's up. Um, hopefully we'll get that done soon. Oh my gosh, wait, well, for a second I thought, wait, they do have roosters. Ooh, that could be good. However, I really don't want any more roosters with just one is good. Unless he dies, that might be a problem. Wait, that's not a rooster, isn't it? I can grab another one. Sure, I'll grab one more just in case that one that we have dies. There we go, and can we grab any other? Oh, the bull is healed up, nice. Do we have anything else here? Ooh, we have huskies. Alistair, we can buy you a female. There we go. We're going to buy you a female, and you can impregnate her, and we'll have tons of little female puppies running around. That'll be nice. And we're spending more money than I actually wanted to do, but you know what? That's okay. It happens, you guys. It happens. So we still have elephants. I thought I sold all of this. Hmm. Did we get some more somehow? I'm not so sure, but hey, there we go. And some more medicine, please and thank you. Although, yes, we are going to spend a ton of money on it. What else can we sell? We still have a lot of steel. We can sell some more of that steel. We do have a lot of marble blocks as well, but these are hardly... Uh, actually, all of this is hardly worth anything, huh? I guess we'll sell... Let's go for five... What? Five, ten? Can I... Oh, is it negative five, ten? Is that what it is? Negative five, ten. For some reason, it doesn't want to let me do this. Game? Do you not want to let me sell any of these? We can sell some of these. Trust me, we have more than enough stuff here. There we go. Negative 510, and then we can go for a negative 530 over here, just so we can earn back our money. That's not good. Well, the bright side is that we do have some dead people clothing, so maybe we can make back that little bit there, but that's really not much, is it? Um, any of this that we can sell? Seems like that's not the case. Awful. Oh, man, that's bad. Poor, that's good. Normal, or poor, I guess, short and superior. Hey, look at that. We're barely losing any money, so that works for me. All right, so we're getting another rooster. And we're getting a husky. Oh, finally, you guys. Finally. All right, so I mean, that's not half bad. Although we are selling some of our supplies that we have been using, but eh, whatever. J anything to save money. Right, so Rooster Numero Dos is going to go in the not hen section. And our... Oh, her name is Anarchy. That's so cute. Okay, that's actually really good here. And let's make sure that these pigs are actually not attached to anybody because we don't want 
all of the pigs following Allie. That seems a little bit messed up. All right, so there we go. Ty keeps failing on our building. That's okay. Oh boy, so none of the stuff that I wanted to do actually happened, but the bright side is that we were actually able to build up a bigger food store, so we have almost 400 meals, which is good because we're going to need a lot of meals when we actually head out. So maybe we could do a little bit more hunting, though, because we are slowly running out of meat. So let's see, what is there out there? Actually, we could probably start taking these things apart, huh? And moving these batteries. So let's go ahead and reinstall this. I suppose right over here and reinstall the other one right over here. They'll hopefully do this after they finish the current build job because, of course, they need to do this for us. That's super important. And, oh, there we go. We're finally hauling things away. All right. So that means that we're just about done with everything we need to do. Let's go ahead and build some more of these graves because, of course, we have been killing a lot more people. So <laughs> it's only fair that we bury them, especially since, you know, they deserve it, right? I mean, everybody deserves to be buried properly. All right, so something like that. I hope this is going to be enough for the people that we've killed so far. And we no longer actually have to go after you. There we go. So we have a lot of the stuff that we've been needing so far. And this is almost done, so our poor little hens should be okay. What the heck was that lag? Minor break risk. Well, <laughs> that's okay. And for some reason, Morgan's been failing a lot of building. I thought she was a better builder than that. Hmm... Eee, we have a we have a muffalo named Cupcake. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, but okay, sure. There we go. So we have uh, we have this Tim Wolf that's now obedient, and Duncan has gotten food poisoning from beef. Oh, Duncan, that's because you're not supposed to eat it. Oh, there we go, an egg. Nice. Hopefully, somebody can get that egg before it actually deteriorates because it is already deteriorating. And oh man. It would be really, really nice to have timber wolves that actually haul, or I guess any dog that actually hauls, because then they'd be able to get the eggs or eat them. I guess they do do that whole eating thing, but eh, you know, they're, uh, they're unrestricted, right? Yeah, they can go do whatever they need to do. I suppose the uh, pigs can also be unrestricted, too, just because if they learn how to haul, that's going to be really, really handy. So we're almost done with our little hen pen, and hopefully our growers are actually going to start growing soon. It seems like they're almost done with our berries. I should probably just disallow sowing for now because we have tons of berries, and I definitely think it's important to grow the hay ground. Oh, what? We have a baby muffalo! Oh, gosh! Hi! Um, you are going into the not muffalos area just because we need you to be protected. Seriously. These baby muffalos die, like, all the time, so it's probably best that we try to protect them as best as we can, and let's see... It looks like we have still enough grass here, although the bunny is probably going to need to be killed just because, well, it might try to eat all the grass that's left over for the hens. So let's go ahead and grab Zima. I know, Zima, I know. We're waking you up. Go ahead, attack the bunny, and hopefully we'll also have to attack the, uh, the rat, too. Oh, no, the rat is gone, so we ha don't have to do that, although we probably have to attack the squirrel. There we go. Morgan, right, I was going to check with Morgan. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. You're an excellent constructor. What is going on with you, buddy? All right, Zima, so you took care of the hair. Let's go ahead and actually take care of the squirrel. There we go. Uh-huh. Good boy. And now the wrap. There we go. Good job, Zima. All right, you've earned your food. Go ahead and eat. And now we have a mad animal. Lovely. <laughs> a buck. Oh, Beamer, no. Oh, man. Is anybody near Beamer? Nobody's near Beamer. That's also lovely. All right, dude, I, I know you had a... <laughs> You just ended up in, like, the worst position ever. So let's try to get you away from here if we can. And let's see, who's the closest person? Bennett, trying to recruit. No, we're going to grab Lynx. Lynx, where are you? All the way at the other end. Well, guess what, Lynx? You're going to have to do something else first. So we need you, and we need the other person who has a bionic leg, which is Robin, to come over here because you guys need to take care of Beamer. Beamer is getting beat up by a buck that was, uh... Well, this was not supposed to happen because we weren't actually hunting, but this thing decided that it has a death wish. So sure, let's give it death if that's what it wants. All right, friends, get over here. Lynx and... Oh, Robin's already on the way over here. Nice. All right, so Robin, maybe over here because Beamer's trying to run as best as he can. Actually, Robin, maybe behind this tree here because Beamer's getting very, very close. Beamer over here, and if we can, let's shoot this thing as soon as is possible, please, and thank you. Or we have help. Actually, never mind. Robin, go do whatever you need to do. Just run, and Beamer, keep running because we have help here. Run, Beamer, run. Oh, boy. There we go. Nice. I totally forgot about that. All right, and Lynx, you're free to go. Do whatever you need to do. Robin, stopping a chicken. There we go. Oh boy, <laughs> what a ride there, what a ride you guys, and still we're wasting materials because apparently our people suck at, uh, you better not be eating that, you better not be eating that, 
Alright, so we've had a lot of distractions in this episode. Hey, we finished Steel Belts, nice. Yeah, we've had a lot of distractions in this episode, and first because of that uh, raid, and then we were actually able to get some hens, finally, after waiting for them for like 5,000 years. Which, you know, it's still nice because we've been wanting them, so sure, I, I guess like, we can accept that. And, well, it's, it's all finally coming together, but... But we were actually able to do what I wanted to do, which was actually go and chase after some pirates. So we'll do that, and we'll go to our final battle in the next episode, because that is it for this episode of RimWorld. If you enjoyed, hit that like button to show your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and have... An awesome night.